everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're getting a little festive. It's going to be a fun video. I wanted to get into the holiday spirit because the holidays are right around the corner. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys some bullet journal spreads that are perfect for this time of year. I have a couple of different fun ideas. So hopefully you guys find this helpful and find something that you want to implement into your journal whatever that is but of course as usual I would love to see your recreations if you want to do that you can send me them on my Instagram at Amanda H. Doodles. tag me in the photo not just the caption you guys know the deal I'm way too excited to get into this video so we need to do it right now I hope you guys are relaxed grab a cup of hot cocoa and turn on some holiday music maybe but let's just get right into it all right, so my first idea is a Christmas countdown. I have a couple different versions. This first one is a large candy cane and within each of the candy cane stripes, I put a number, which was the days till Christmas. And then the idea is that every single day until Christmas, you'll fill in each of the stripes of the candy cane with a color until Christmas, the very end. I thought this would be a fun and creative way to count down the days. It was extremely easy to do and by the end of it, when Christmas comes, you'll have a completed filled in drawing of a candy cane and feel free to use whatever colors you see fit. I decided to go with the classic green and red combo. I had so much fun with the idea of a Christmas countdown, so I did another version. So this one has a bunch of hanging ornaments. You can also do hanging Christmas lights, hanging snowflakes, anything you want and whatever you think fits into your journal. But I decided to do ornaments because I thought it'd be fun to play around with the different shapes of ornaments. Of course, each ornament will have a number, which will be the days till Christmas. When you fill it in with the color, um, you can also play around with the different patterns that you fill in the ornament with. So you can do stripes, dots, solid colors. Um, you can see the couple different options that I show you over here, but eventually I opted just for the solid color for simplicity's sake. But again, you play around with it and go nuts. In my opinion, these are the best spreads to do. They're kind of like a game because every morning you can wake up, fill in a color, and you can count down the days to Christmas. Who doesn't love that? The next version of the countdown that I have is kind of like a bullet journal advent calendar, and I've titled it an adventure calendar. Get it? <laughs> But the idea is that you're going to put little fun holiday activities in each of the boxes. You can do as many boxes as you want. And then every single day you'll peel back the covering and do whatever that activity is. So I've written down a bunch of them like decorate for Christmas, drink hot cocoa, watch home alone, classic. Um, you can do as simple or as extravagant as you want. Like I also did one that was like, go skiing. And then on a separate sheet of paper, I used some green and red markers to color some solid blocks of color in. And I'm going to be using these as my version of colored paper. This is mostly because I didn't have colored paper, but also I would be able to control the exact color scheme that I wanted for the spread. So as you can see, I'm tracing out the squares and then cutting them out to fit each box on the advent calendar. And then once I laid out all of the colors in the order that I wanted, I used some glue tape in order to stick them to each little box. Looking back on it, this was probably not the best idea. This glue tape that I'm using was a bit too strong. So when I tried peeling it back, it was a bit difficult. So I would maybe switch it out for some washi tape or some double-sided tape that's not as strong. But once you have all the colors on, you can write the numbers down and then you're ready to count down the days. So again, as I mentioned, you can peel them back and do the activity that it says. My next spreads are gift related. So I did do a gift ideas spread in my December plan with me video, but I thought I would do another one. This one was a bit more creative and artistic. So I'm just drawing a bunch of different gifts in different shapes and sizes and the gift tags obviously correspond to the gift that it's going to. And then within each box, I would brainstorm different gift ideas for each individual person. I always come up with different gift ideas on the go or randomly throughout the week and then when it comes time to actually buying them, I usually forget about all of the ideas that I have. So a spread like this will be very helpful in order to keep track of all of the different things going on during the holiday season. 
So I always love the idea of sending cards during the holiday season, but sometimes it can be hard to keep track of how many people you want to send cards to. So I came up with this bullet journal spread that will help you keep track of that. Essentially, it's just a checklist that you can check off whenever each card has been sent or made, but I did make it a little bit cuter and make it look like the list was coming out of an envelope, which I loved. My next spread is a gift tracker. Now this one is a bit more detailed and extensive than the previous ones, which were kind of just like checklists. I saw this on Pinterest actually, and I thought it'd be such a good idea. And basically each column will help you keep track of the gift process. So you have the name, the gift that you want to get them, the budget for the gift, how much you spent, when you need it by. You can check it off when it's bought, wrapped, and sent. And I thought this would be the perfect structured and organized way to minimize the chaotic mess that getting holiday gifts can sometimes feel like, especially if you have a large family or just a lot of people to buy gifts for. So I did decorate the top banner with some small doodles of gifts and stockings and Santa hats. And out of all of the spreads, I feel like this one really is the most useful. The next spread is similar except it's for stocking stuffers. Now as someone who has organized stocking stuffers in the past, I can confirm that it can get a little overwhelming especially because you have to fill the stocking to the top and there's so many little gifts involved. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a spread that you can list different stocking stuffers for each person. To decorate this spread, I drew stockings for each person that I would be getting stuff for and then underneath it I wrote the name and then it's basically just a list underneath it. If you want, you can go a step further and be a bit more detailed with it like the gift tracker and keep track of when it was bought and wrapped and sent and all of that. Basically what you would have to do is just spread out each person's stocking a little bit more to give yourself some more space for all of the extra columns. Otherwise you can just keep it simple like me and do a list per person. My next spread is a Christmas wish list spread. This spread is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a place where you can write down all of the things that you're gonna ask Santa for. <laughs> I decorated the top of the page with some hanging ornaments and for the actual list I made it look like a curled piece of parchment and then I would be writing my wish list within that piece of paper. I decided to split up that large area in two different categories just to organize it further. There's nothing that defines the holidays more than the food. I really think it's one of the best parts of the holiday season. So of course I had to dedicate a whole spread to it. So I decided to make a holiday recipe spread. Depending on the amount of recipes you wanna write down, you can make this a double page spread or a triple page spread. I decided to just do a single page. It's pretty self-explanatory, you just write down the recipe, but this would be helpful if you're planning out what to bring to a holiday potluck or if you wanna bring your bullet journal to the grocery store so that you know what ingredients to get. And then my final holiday bullet journal spread idea is to make a holiday favorites page. I wanted to decorate this one a bit more, so I drew a wreath all around it with some markers. By the way, I will link all of the supplies and materials that I used in the description box below as usual. This wreath was relatively simple to make. You just draw some red berries and then kind of scribble a bunch of leaves around it. And later on, I did define the leaves of the wreath with a marker, but you don't necessarily have to do that. And then I did split up the actual favorites in two various categories all around this wreath. So I had favorite holiday movies, holiday songs, holiday food, holiday makeup, everything under the sun that is holiday themed, I wrote down. Oh, I almost forgot. Another page that you can do is just a quote lettering decorative page, which is always fun to do in my opinion. So I did this one that says Merry Christmas, of course, and then I drew some wintry hats and mittens underneath it, which I love the way that this turned out. It's so cute and it's a fun spread to throw into your bullet journal just to add a little bit of personality. Although it may not have a particular organizational function, I don't think every spread has to have one. It's just more for the festivities of it all. 
All right, everyone, so those were my festive holiday bullet journal spread ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Even just drawing these made me so happy and ready for Christmas, so I hope it did the same for you. I do have a couple other holiday videos planned, but if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I think that's pretty much it, so happy holidays, everyone, and keep doodling. Bye, everyone.